Hey guys, and welcome to the first guide. Um, this is a guide about rights, uh, rights meet of course, and it is a Belgium uh, build. This time it's uh, about uh, a kind of interesting build. It's focused on gold per 10 seconds and gold in general. Um, so let's go straight, straight to the point. So let's start with runes. Um, with runes I have quintessences gold per 10 seconds. This gives you 3 golds every 10 seconds. Then you have Gleef magic resist, uh, seals armor and mark magic penetration. Actually the real build is about seals with armor and magic penetration. So it's kind of different but I really like a rides more tanky so for me seals armor are perfect. So this is for runes. If we go to masteries, uh, we have a 9021, uh, 21 for utility to get uh, more gold at the beginning, more gold every every 10 seconds. Uh, we have more buffs, we have more movement speed, more cooldown reduction. We have a movement speed, more movement speed that combined with the uh, basic increased movement speed of rides that happen like not many patches ago like they increased it it's actually creates a very good movement speed very good for engaging because he he has a very very low range so it's pretty good to have a good movement speed and in nine the offense we have a more cooldown reduction more um, ability power and more uh, magic damage then for the spells for the spells we have teleport and flash um, why teleport? Because uh, we're gonna stay actually AFK farm for around 27 minutes, which is a lot of time. And in 27 minutes, there is early and mid game. And during 27 minutes, a lot of stuff happens. But if you focus on farming, those 27 minutes, 27 minutes are going to be right, like really quickly. Like they're gonna really go so quick that you do not even understand what is happening and focus on minions really focus on getting minions focus on getting campus you're gonna stay mid all the time um, at level 9 you can actually start doing the rotation which is doing the way the enemy waves minion then going to wolves then rights then against me again mid then again to the wolves then again to the rights and so on you keep going like that until you don't have too much health or too much mana, you go back, you teleport back in or you just walk in and you're done. And actually it's teleport is useful to go back if you need to defend the tower or something. You're gonna probably lose a lot of towers. It's better if you just lose one tower mid lane. You don't gonna focus on getting kills, you're not gonna focus on getting towers, just minions. You're very good you're very good if you actually get one hundred minion every ten minutes. That is good. If you get uh, 100 minion every 15 minutes, it's not the best situation, of course. Um, you should actually improve. But it's okay. If you get 100 minions every 15 minutes, it's okay, but you have to improve. If you get lower, you don't even have to complain your opponents because they're feeding or something because you're playing bad rides. This build is focused on getting 100 minions at least every 15 minutes. So focus on that, minions or campus, whatever, I don't care about what kind, just kill creeps, kill creatures. And teleport is useful because you're gonna be, you're gonna stay mid, but in 27 minutes a lot of things are gonna happen, so you need teleport to go sometimes, to go sometimes in other, um, in other lanes or during team fight and stuff. So remember teleport. Uh, flash, of course, because it's very useful to engage or disengage. Also because your range is not very good, so for engaging it's quite good, or, or positioning, actually. So I'm not gonna go over the rides skills, because I think it's very basic. Just read them. And remember that you don't need ability power, you need mana. To do damage you need mana, you don't need ability power. So don't get something with ability power, get everything with mana. And about the items, I have here the uh, build. It's how to carry, of course, because you're gonna carry. 
And the starting items are quite strange. You're gonna have a rejuvenation bead and fairy charm with two health potions. Remember, two health potions. I want two health potions. I, I just want because I'm gonna double click twice. It's easier for me. Uh, then the first back, you're gonna focus on getting Philosopher's Stone. You should actually go back when you have Philosopher's Stone ready because the more time you have it, the better you're going to be. And then you're gonna try to do everything to get Cage as fast as possible. If you get Cage quickly, you're actually done. If you get Cage quite slowly, like you need more minutes and you're wasting a lot of time, maybe you went teleport, then you go back, you don't have enough money for Cage, then you go farm and after five minutes you go back to Cage, to get Cage. Actually, you're losing a lot of time. So do everything as possible, your game is gonna start you're gonna start playing, actually playing, when you get the cage. When you get the cage, you can actually start doing whatever you want because you already start building 10 golds every 10 seconds, which is good, just for from these two items. Then you have masteries, you have runes, so you actually understand that you're gonna get a lot of gold. Then for the boots, I have sorcerer boot shoes, of course, with home guard because I think it's the best, be it's the best buff for the shoes if you want to keep farming keep staying in the game because home guard gives you a movement speed buff um, until you are at the inhibitor tower so you're actually all the time even if when even when you recall you're all the time in the game you're in the center of the map actually and that gives you an, a huge advantage in farming because you actually never waste time of course you need tier i actually get tier before the shoes uh, tier uh, is important because every time you use a skill, every time you spell a, uh, a skill, you get the you stuck the tier, and you need to stuck the tier to get the seraphim stuff that you get from the archangel. Um, so this is like the the early game. Then in mid game, you're gonna do like this. You're gonna start with the rod of ages. Uh, it's very important because you're gonna be so tanky with Road of Ages. You you probably don't understand how he's so helpful. This is really your Road of Ages is one of the main items for rides. Then you have Banshee's Veil, uh, really good. Um, I actually like sometimes it depends on the enemy. Like if I need magic resist, I'm gonna go for Banshee's Veil. If I need armor, I'm just gonna switch with Frozen Heart, and I'm gonna get Frozen Heart before the uh, Archangel and then in late game Banshee's Veil, but I want to do like this for now. So Banshee's Veil, I know that it doesn't give you any more mana from like two patches ago, so it's not as good as before. You can buy another Road of Age if you want, but Bansh I love Banshee's Veil because it, that passive is so good that actually I think it's extremely good. Like if they have Blitzcrank, you don't get grabbed. If they needly, you don't get the damage from the spear. There's so much things, so many things that you can avoid with Banshee's Veil that I actually love it. Sometimes it's always luck. I mean, sometimes it's about luck. Like during team fights, maybe Banshee's Veil is coming up again. You get a skill or an ulti and you just avoid it because of Banshee's Veil. So it's extremely good. I love it. Banshee's Veil is probably one of my favorite items with Twin Shadows but I don't use Twin Shadows on these rides. Then we have Archangel stuff for obvious reason because we have tier and it gives you with the Seraphim, it gives you a really good shield, very useful. And in late game, you're gonna focus on Frozen Heart. It gives you mana, armor and cooldown reduction and the attack speed of the uh, nearby enemies. So it's extremely useful for everything is useful. Will of Ancient for the um, spell bump and um, because this spell bump is gonna be uh, added to your spell bump with the ulti and you're gonna get a huge spell bump really I got so many times kills 1v1 when I was almost dead because I baited them in a bush when it was practically dead and using the ulti and having the will of engine I could get enough health to kill him even if I was almost dead and spirit visage to get a little bit more tanky um, it gives you magic resist with this you're actually very 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 tanky so if you fed mid lane because you're focusing on farming no problem just don't get a will of ancient get spirit visage and you're fine these are six items so you have to choose 
five of them. Uh, Rod of Ages, Banshee's Veil, vale, and Seraphim stuff are imp the most important, so you have to get them. You can choose between Will of, Will of Ancients and Spirit Visage. I usually get Will of, uh, Will of Ancients, but not always, so it's up to you. This is actually the build. If you You're gonna get around 27 minutes full build around that. I guess sometimes I got 32 minutes, 31, 26. It depends on how good you farm. And remember, your main goal is not champions, is nothing. It's just minions. Like sometimes I, I even don't do dragon because I have to farm. I just say, okay, let's go to farm. I stay near rights, rates if I'm bottom or wolves or blue if I'm top. If I'm in the top part of the map, I'm on blue side uh, team. And I just stay there near them, but I usually farm all the time. I don't waste time doing dragon because dragon gives gold to everyone, but you're wasting time because you're not farming. I know it sounds rude. I know it sounds like a noob, but if you do that, it's actually impossible to lose because you play so defensively that during early game and mid game that no one can actually kill you and in late game you rock I'm gonna show you here's two matches I've done yeah I know it's not the best for match history I don't care actually so this is a game I did yesterday uh, was pretty good um, I actually had the mid, uh, early game I was 0-2-0 zero, 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 very bad one I was against Hari um, but she had any some bags I don't know like they I saw yesterday that they were like disabling Hari because there were some bugs so I don't know they, they she was doing a lot of damage I don't know and also early game I don't know and I got Rod of Ages, Frozen Earth, Will of Ancient, The Boots, Tear and Banshee's Veil I was almost finishing but I didn't finish the tier because it was like at 700 stacks on 750 so uh, I didn't want to get Archangel before finishing tier and here I have the full build, almost full build it's an <coughs> a similar one, sorry it's a similar one, it's Rod of Ages, uh, Seraphim stuff, uh, Frozen Earth and here I choose Spirit Visage and I was getting Iceborne Countlet because it w I was trying because they changed the Punch's Veil no giving mana anymore so I was trying with the Iceborne Gauntlet because it gives you the mana and it slows and so it was kind of good and also for the auto attack passive stuff so it was kind of good and I did quite good uh, so yeah actually I really I really love this build it's very funny to play because uh, I mean early game and mid game you don't have such a frustration because you actually never die almost um, because you play so defensively sometimes happen of course but not so often and late game is so funny because you full build while the enemy team is four five items in so it's extremely good really good build so guys this is the build for today um it's rides build based on gold per 10 seconds and i hope it was useful for you uh see you in in the next video Bye.